likely it's the smaller of the number. We don't bill higher because the, it's a more involved procedure the higher we go up in the CPT code descriptor. I'd be leaning towards D, but let's see if we can figure out our difference. We're still in OB. Nope, wrong one. I need to have my 5,000 up. Paste that one. So what did we do to our patient? What we did was ultrasound. We did dilation correct of an incomplete spontaneous and vaginal vault. Are we an incomplete or are we a missed? That's our difference. Are we missed or incomplete? And since we have incomplete written in our descriptor right there, I would stay with the incomplete right there. What do you guys think? This was on the a APC2. Can I ask you about the text of codes 14 and 15? I don't understand them. 14 and 15 should have two different separate headers in Intigmentary. So 14s are, is that the adjacent tissue transfer? Those codes are done if it's 301 301 yeah that's adjacent tissue transfer those are only coded by themselves they include an incision with them um you're gonna it's also called a z-plasty and that does an excision and we get to remove tissue from another area and repair that area where we removed it the 15 to 15 271, two. 271 is a substitute skin graft. So we are applying a substitute graft um, on a wound surface without doing an adjacent tissue transfer, which are different. I like the biological, <laughs> biological implant, um, meaning plant-based or something like that is crazy. So the adjacent tissue transfer is, think about it, it's real skin from your own body, right? And then if you're over there in the 1500s, you're doing biological implant. That means it's, you know, not of your body. It's synthetic. It's a biosynthetic. It can be made from pig skins to snake skins, literally fish scales, um, some sort of synthetic material, plastic, whatever, um, or even a permanent coverage for open skin. So, But it's still a skin substitute, like a replica of skin, but not, not true real skin. So that's totally the differences there for sure. 
And yes, we are going to stay with our D for this answer. I did go look up this one, and yep, it just says correct answer. It's not giving us much info, but yes, that one is D. All right, let's see. This 101 for respiratory. Let's see. We have... Two J's and two R's. The two J's are good. Would we use an R code, which is symptoms? Doubt it. I bet it's going to be the J. So then we've got the 66 in both. Yep. And then we just need to know, can we add that code with it or not? If it's an add-on code and we have enough tissue or whatever, then yes. So I'd run to 32666 to see what's going on with that code. And you always want to go to the first code. You don't want to go to the secondary code because whatever's there, I'm sure they did. But to find the rule, whether you can use it or not, will always be on the first code. So 32666. Ooh, unlucky number. That's a child code, so no matter what, I want to make sure I'm going to go to my mama code. I'm going to go look at her and see what she's doing. That's a thoracotomy, so that's our 650 surgical, mechanical, or chemical, doesn't matter. And then our 666 is unilateral, and then it's a wedge, which is great. And then if we were going to add anything else, the 67, it would have to have an additional resection. Ipsolateral, I-P-S-I, -I, lateral means same side. And see, we got the word resection in here, and we do have a wedge. So I think we need both. I would pick D. Copy this and put this under respiratory. Where's respiratory? Right there. Respiratory. And let me go find the answer. Let's see. They are saying A is incorrect. So is B. So is C. And D is correct. Inner voice. <laughs> Inner voices are killer, aren't they? Sometimes. All right. I like this 05. It's got tons of codes with it. So let's see. If we were doing 05 or the 20, 20 yeah, 105, we are going to be going. I like the two fives. Those are the exact same. Then we've got three six in this one, three six in that one, which is handy dandy. Two eight is not anywhere. Nine one is crazy. Okay, let me just go see what these codes are. So I'm going to go to my three one six two eight. 
and 31636. See what my differences are? See if I can find my answer that way. 31628. 31628. Three one six two eight. It's a child code, so I'm gonna go look for mom to just to make sure I'm underneath the right header. We're in our brachoscopial rigid or flexible with fluoroscope. We're also doing cell washing. Well, if we were doing mama, where's my semicolon? Where's my semicolon? Do they have one? They do. Okay, so cell washing is not included. The mama has only the guidance in it and it's a flex flexible or um, rigid so bronchial scope and then if I was doing two eight it includes biopsy and then if I was doing three six three six is a stent so all I got to do is look if I'm doing there's our bronchoscope with biopsy did we do any stents they did the good stents are there too so that means we did both right that and that which means c is the correct answer because it has both of them in it Ooh, very cool i like that one at least I like C anyway. What do you guys think? Let's see if I copy that. And then go find the answer. 105. Copy, paste, and then A, B are on one page, and then I have to go to another page to find C and D. Yes, C is correct. Yay. C is correct for this one. Thank you for the hearts. Amy, do you see why it's not um, D? <laughs> She's Twinkle on our Discord, too. And you might get email replies back from her. She helps me out answering emails. All right. One of seven. Let's see about that one. If I was doing this one, I like the two five ones, right? I just need to know, can I add a 60 or a 61 to it? So let's go see what three two five five one is. Three two five five one. That is a mama code, so I don't have to go any further. It is a tube borectomy drainage system which is great it does not have any do nots so what's our three two five six zero? Oh? our six zero oh is installation of a catheter and then our six one is a chest tube chest tube chest tube chest tube are we doing fibrolis or are we doing pneumo Plural, plurindices, plural, plural. Are we plural? We're plural. We're plural. 
we just have to look up our spaces. The P word in 60 is the most important one. And then in our 61, the most important word, it starts with the F. F-I-B-R-I-N-O. Those two words are your differences. So you just had to look up to see if you were plural or the F word. So A, I would go with A with that one question. And A is our correct answer for this one. Advanced coding exercises. Oh my. I don't think these are going to be helpful. I think I have to skip this chapter because maybe not. Some of them might be more. Oh, these look fine. Oh Lord. See, they get that. PCS coding crap. You see why I don't want to do billing? Look at that nightmare. Uh-uh. I don't want to do none of that. I've learned enough. But yeah, we, we, we don't want to go here. <laughs> we don't want to go there. But let me go, I think, chapter... What chapter is this one? What chapter is this? That's chapter 7 still. We need to get out of chapter seven. If we get to chapter eight, we'll be good. Chapter eight has some good stuff in it, I think. Yeah. I think. Yeah, chapter eight will be good. That was another sickle cell. We've already done sickle cell. What's this one? We already do. We may have already done chapter eight. I have to remember. I need M mean to tell me whether we did this one or not. We got UTI dehydration, pleural infusion, thrombocenia. My, I used to babysit a girl. Had that. She got her spleen taken out. It was on steroids and diabetes type one. I don't think so, huh? So how many diagnoses do we have? One, two, three, four, five, depending on whether dehydration was a cause of, it might be just a symptom. You got to be careful with that one. Five, one, two, three, four, five. So some of them have six or seven diagnosis codes. Probably get rid of the ones that have the R's in them. Knowing that. So I would like just the ones that do the five. So either C or A. And then what's our differences? Our difference is only the D code, right? So are we D6959 or D6949? Both numbers are in our throwaway, so that's not going to be helpful this time. I have to go to my diagnosis code book and see. So D69, D, A, B, C, D, D69, 49, D69, 49 is other primary thumbro, other. So that's the 49 is other. Don't really like that. What's our 59? But it's going to be for this 59. 59 is other secondary. So we need to know if it's primary or secondary. 
in its primary. So actually, it is our C, right? Because it is primary. Yep, C. Did you get that mean? You did get that. Good job. Look at that huge note. Oof. I have to cut that down some, but good job. You see how I like to count just how many diagnoses do you need? Get rid of the answers that have too many and then narrow it down by just those two. What's the one code difference between the two answers? And it just ended up being a 5-9 and a 4-9. Then go look and see what that difference is. And whatever that difference is, you just search your question for it. And it ended up being only one word difference. That right there. It was either primary or secondary. And that's all you needed to look up in that huge question. That's it. You didn't need to read none of the rest of that mess. I promise this system works. It just takes practice to get used to it. And to learn it and be able to actually do it because it seems very foreign to be able to do it like this. But it works. It's the most efficient way. I did not want to learn coding, and I just wanted to pass the exam, and that's how I did it. I didn't want to learn more than I already know. Well, I definitely don't want to learn how to bill. That's for sure. Billing just seems so tedious. Oh my. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chaos. I know it's crazy and I'm going really fast. I'm trying to um, keep mean and some of the more advanced students um, engaged and get them some extra practice questions in. And, and that's hard on people that are beginners because y'all got kind of lost in the shuffle here. You'll catch up. Don't worry. You'll get this good as time goes by. Just keep hanging in there. So we'll try this 05 one right here. So if we were just looking at symptoms, right? It probably won't start off with an R, right? Whatever we're doing, if we have real diagnoses, we're going to use them. So I'd be leery of the A. And we know that symptoms are start with R is because if you go to any page in this ICD-10 book and you look at anything that has the word R or the letter R starting with it, the side bar right here will tell you it's signs and symptoms and we don't generally use those as a diagnosis if we have a diagnosis it's probably going to be a difference between the two m's because that answer is the same and then we have two throwaways and then out of our m's we have one that has a symptom and one that has an i diagnosis what does our eye, what a, eyes are circulatory system. So anything with an eye in front of the diagnosis code number is circulatory. So still keeping with my initial thought that R's don't need to be involved in anything that we're billing, if at all possible, since I've already narrowed it down to be and D, just because they're the same first diagnosis, I wouldn't follow it up with a symptom diagnosis. I would use a real diagnosis for circulatory issues, so I know my answer is going to be D. That's a crazy concept to think about, where I did not even look at one word of the question and just ration out what I could bill or wouldn't be billing. But just knowing that one little thing about symptoms is so helpful because that'll get rid of two answers you already have two answers that start out with the same 
So if you've already picked out those two things, then you just continue to get rid of the symptoms. You can pick out your answer is simply just D. I'm going to put this underneath my medicine workshop, whatever it is. I'll go check my answer and go find the answer real quick and make sure I'm right. But I'm batting a thousand tonight. Sometimes I get them wrong. Where am I at? 90, 905? 80, 805, 805. So A, C, D is the correct answer. It says nothing in particular it just says it's crap about indexing but d was correct <laughs> you're welcome thank you twinkle Let's do one more question and then we'll end it up for tonight. So hypertension, something in the hypertension area because we're in the I-25s, right? So we're going to look at this. We've got a difference between one diagnosis, um, two diagnoses, yep, and the rest of them. So we're probably not going to have just one. We're probably going to have two diagnoses, probably a difference between the two Z's, right? So A and C is what I would be leaning towards. What's my difference between A and C? Two CPT codes versus one. It's probably just the one. Since it's in one of my throwaways too, heck yeah, I'd pick A and move on to my next question. But... Our post-operative diagnosis is, oh, angina, but we had to do some graphs and an ASHD for coronary angiographs. We had to do an angio. She had to have her rotor rooter done. And... Go find the ants. So, what was her post-operative diagnosis? Yeah, she's gonna have two. And then, what procedure did we do? Right and left cath angio. That's it. Yeah, one CPT code. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go find the answer. So, They're separated by two pages. Such a pain. A is correct. What are they saying? The reason why they're saying patient has a history of a cabbage. The main term is presence sub coronary artery bypass graft. Gave her a ton of heparin. Good gracious. We did left ventricular. Left ventricular. Love it. Right coronary artery, both allograph veins. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, it is a perfect. Good job, Mean. All right, guys. I hope this is helpful. There is a ton of free info. Please, please download the um, and join the Discord app. There's even a room there. If you don't know how to use Discord, find the room that says Discord Tips. 
Scroll all the way to the top. The very first video that's put there is how to use Discord. So then you know how to navigate Discord. But there's nothing nefarious there. Nobody's going to track you or anything like that. Um, and you can just lurk. You don't have to engage. But it's full of free resources for you guys. Um, plus you can message me there. And we can share info there. You can find the link to get to that page on my website. If you go to medicalcodingbyjen.com, go to the social media tab. Just find the one that says social media tab and scroll down. You get to see the YouTube page. This is the one that says join Discord. Just click that after you've already downloaded the Discord app and it'll throw you right into the Discord app. It's all free. All my YouTube videos are there and the Facebook chat. All that stuff is there too, but hopefully this is helpful, guys. I'll repost this up on YouTube. I will be working on what has been on the exam in the last 45 days as soon as I get off of here. Bringing it up now because I got to go find everybody's info. Somebody sent me, I know three different people sent me info this week. So I've got to go find that and add that to the bottom. And then I'll get that re-emailed out to everybody that purchased it. And if you do purchase this document, whether you get it on Etsy or on my website, on my website, it's a little bit cheaper because you don't have to pay for Etsy fees. But um please put in a real email address because I don't want to have to manually enter in and send everybody uh, their own private email address and attach a, a document to it. It slows me down a whole lot to send it out to a lot of people. So if you do purchase it, give me a, a valid email address so I can always send you the updates. I'll send it every time I update it to your email. I don't spam you or anything or you know send you a bunch of info y'all don't need. So hopefully that was helpful, guys. Thank you so much for helping out the TikTok with all the hearts, all the the lovey things, making me do the, the target thing. That's so great. 8,000 likes, five shares. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it, guys. I follow everybody that is the top 10 viewers. If you're here for two hours watching me, I try to follow you. If you have an open account, and I can. So then you can message me there too, but I'm really slow at getting at TikTok messages. I'm figuring it out though. I've been trying to figure it out anyway. <laughs> Say hi to Travis. Ooh, he's still in trouble. Little man, my little man. I got a call from the science teacher on both of them today, but they're okay. Minor little things. James likes to make whale noises <laughs> in class. He needs to just stop on his little being silliness. And then uh, Travi was having some, he's doing all of these assignments, but getting zeros for him. And it's totally not like him. It's a video where you watch a video and then you answer questions while you're watching the video. And it must be confusing him because he's getting the wrong answers and getting zeros. I'm like, can we slow this down or can he have cliff notes or something? What's going on? I don't know. He's not paying attention or can't comprehend what's going on or doesn't know how to answer them because he would get them right if he knew what to do. He's very particular about his work. He wants to do it right. He won't even let me help with his homework. So anyway, that's all. We were having good conversations today. I will be back and we will do another two hours on Wednesday, 6.30 Arizona time zone. It's 8.43 here now. I don't know when the time falls back, but hopefully we will be closer in time zones pretty soon. <laughs> 10K, yay, we did it. Y'all are awesome. Thanks, Red. That's awesome. I miss Travis's drawings too. Y'all, he's so good. He's so good at it. Right now he's in there playing Oculus. I can hear him screaming at everybody. Sammy's waiting for me. What are you waiting on me for, little man? I'm trying to get the phone to... Here we go, Sammy, Sam, Sam. What are you waiting on me for? He's usually never in here. Look, as soon as I get up, he's going to walk me to where he wants me to do. I think i got to wash his water bowl dish. 
Is it time to wash your water bowl? Is that what you want me to do? There's Travi. He's on the Oculus. Being all crazy. And then I got my Jaybird. He's playing some slasher game, really, with a knife. Huh? You know that ain't appropriate. Oh, my gosh. Look, he got rid of it for a gun. Okay, that makes it all better. Really? Really? <laughs> I make them have all their electronics in the living room so my mom can help me watch them. Um, they're not allowed to take electronics to their bedroom. So she's working on a puzzle here, trying to put it together. I think it's this one with all the candy bars on it. Oh, my gosh. So that's it. That's life. Sammy wants something. I don't know what you could possibly want. You have three bowls of food right there. What do you want? I think he just wants a spank. You want a spank spank? Is that all you want? Well, come over here. Is that what you want? Hey, Right here. You can't get on that one. I can't spank you on that one. You got to get on this one. Come on. There you go. Anybody else got a cat that likes to be spanked? He's so weird. Yeah. And look at him. He'll dig in. This is his chair. He gets to tear it up. And then he just loves it. I just patty pat, 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 and he just can't stand it. <laughs> he just loves it. This is our Sammy. And this is his tear up chair. He just loves it. He loves it. He loves him some Spanx Spanks. So weird. And then Chloe up here on the painting table is saying hello. Love me. Are you doing a live of your house? I am doing a live of the kitty cats. I am. Say hello, Chloe. Just sharing. Being overly sharing as usual. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here, put some bread away. We made some homemade bread with the bread maker today. That's what that is. I got to put it away, though. Are you going to bite me? Really? What are you biting me for, Chloe? I'll bite. Yeah. She's trying to correct me on something. Don't know what. But anyway, I appreciate y'all guys hanging out with me. I will see y'all again on Wednesday. Good night. Trash. Yes, James, did you take down the trash cans? No. You didn't take down the trash cans? All right. Somebody's got to come help me drag these things down. Thank you, Twinkle. Bro, this guy be just All right, message me too, Twinkle. What was going on? I don't know what. Something was. There's the social media tabs. Yes. Y'all be sure and go there. And if y'all want to know how to update your books and put notes in your books all by yourself without my help, without buying them, just go to CPT Book Prep. Click on the photos. That will tell you step by step on how to prep your own books without having to buy them for me. But if you want to purchase them, they're in the shop right there. Anyway, guys, I will see y'all later. See you on Wednesday. Good night. Come on, Jaybird. Let's go take out the trash.